I had started writing music when I was 11 years old. My father died when I was 10 and I had been playing piano and I went very much inside my own world looking for answers and so I started writing music. And so music has always been central to my emotional life and as well as my professional life. So I studied it in school and did not know anything about the trained human voice until I was essentially in college and then got to know opera. I knew a lot about musical theater, but I didn't know much about opera. And so I started experiencing that in Los Angeles in the 1980s and never ever thought I would write one. And I wound up working at the San Francisco Opera in the PR marketing department. I was the writer for the company. It was like an apprenticeship, the best kind of apprenticeship a young composer could imagine. Because I was working and essentially living in that opera house, getting to know every corner, every, every person, the administration, the artists, the chorus, the, all the unions, all the different shops, the volunteers, the donors, and the soloists, the singers. And I started writing songs for them. And they got excited about these songs and started doing them all over the world. And out of the blue, the general director said to me, I think you might be a theater composer. So I want to commission you to write an opera. I'm going to send you to New York to meet with Terrence McNally. We have a slot in the 2000 season and I'd love to see what you guys come up with. And my first reaction was, who are you talking to? <laughs> because I was his, on his staff, you know, writing press releases and, and speeches and things, right. even though I was writing all these songs. So I went to meet with Terrence McNally and we got along very well. And Terrence came up with the idea of Dead Man Walking. And the general director made me the composer in residence for the San Francisco Opera. So I went right from being the writer, the PR writer for the company, to being the composer in residence for the company and wrote my first opera. And it turned out well. <laughs> When Terrence McNally told me he had 10 ideas for a new opera, but he only really wanted to do one, but he wasn't going to tell me which one because we had to feel the same. So I said, well, okay, tell me your ideas. And the first thing he said was Dead Man Walking. And I remember every hair on my neck and my arms just standing up. I just had shivers top to toe and I felt this music. I didn't know what the music was, but I felt it because emotionally it was so rich and so deep and so profound. And so I said, you could stop right there. That's, that's the one. And he said, well, can I, I made this list. Let me just read all of them. <laughs> so he continued to read, but I was already completely taken with Dead Man Walking. And luckily that's the one he really wanted to do. It poses a lot of big questions about the world and our society. And it's interesting that this year it will have had 70 international productions, which is a lot all over the world on all five continents and it seems to resonate no matter where it goes because I do think these are central themes to people's lives that we all struggle with. These are big questions and it's interesting that a big human drama like this, a nun and a convicted killer, can draw so many people in as well as the parents and the murder victims and bring us into a conversation where we ask questions that maybe we wouldn't have considered before. It was such an honor to write it. And now that I look back on it, I look at a production and I look at people taking bows at the end and I think, how did I have the nerve to think I could write that? <laughs> it just seems so massive now. It's like there I am in my apartment, you know, writing this opera and feeling very good about it and just really into it and like knowing that something special was happening, that the vibration was there. And what I love is that so many different performers and companies have done it, that every single director, designer, performer brings something different to it and surprises me because they bring their own human perspective and their own journey to it. And what makes me happy about that is that the score is flexible, the piece is flexible, it can take many different perspectives, it can be done in small houses, it can be done in very big houses, and many different kinds of singers can inhabit these roles because they all bring something very human and real and different, a different experience to it.